three favorite books. Oh God. <laughs> you know I'm like like I a, do. a ridiculous reader. I do. First ones that come to mind then. Okay. When, the top three books. Give, you. give me give me a, a theme though, because business related personal development, you know, within the, the realm of our discussion this morning. All right. Um well, let's go back to like someone wants to start a business um, or maybe as early on in having started a business. I talked about EOS, Entrepreneurial yeah. Operating Systems. So there's, we're going to go two for one here. This is going to be one, but it's going to be two books because they're related. Uh, they have a book called Traction. Um, it's a black cover, um, like orange, almost tire tracks looking on the front. I say that because there's another book called Traction that's also about starting a business, but that one's about like like growing a company quickly. This is one that's about systems. So it's called Traction by Gino Wickman and someone else. Um, but that one is very textbook-y. Like it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not, a, not a page turner. You're not gonna be like, oh my God, I have to read the next page. But what's cool is knowing that um, they wrote a story format to it, which is called Get a Grip. And it is walking through a company that is struggling and hires EOS to come in and take them through uh, a, a meeting, an initial meeting to get clarity. And uh, if, if you own a business or you think about owning one, it's it's an amazing read because you'll you'll be like you'll see yourself in a lot of it. And um, the systems in that. I mean, we just immediately started applying like everything we could, and it's something that I go back and reread often. And then they have different accompaniment uh, books to that. So uh, get a grip and traction. Um, in terms of uh, clarity and um, like kind of finding time to, to stay clear on what you want. Uh, books that I ignored for a really long time, because I think there's 14 of them in the series. Uh, ever heard of The Miracle Morning? So Hal Elrod. That, the name I've heard, yeah. So uh, he has a, a number of books that the original one was called The Miracle Morning, and then there's different, like The Miracle Morning 4, all different people, different different types of individuals, um, and uh, there's there's one that's called the Miracle Morning for Entrepreneurs, and uh, specifically within that book, there's there's an acronym called Savers: it's silence, affirmation, visioning, exercise, reading, and scribing. Just because to make it Savers, writing wouldn't work, so it's scribing, but it means writing. Um, and I already had a morning routine prior to reading that, but uh, it 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 is a morning routine that kind of sets you on fire for the rest of the day. Uh, leadership and self-deception. Leadership and self-deception. It's a short read. Funny enough, when I just presented down in Miami recently, it's like, oh, you're in Miami, go do fun stuff, and I couldn't stop reading this book. <laughs> so, I mean, don't get me wrong, I went to the beach and, and had a good time, went out, got good food, but I found myself being, because it's a story, which is really cool. If anyone's ever read any of the Go-Giver series, they're just story, they're fables, I guess would be the word. Like they're fictional stories that teach like, important life lessons. And I throw that one out there because it, it's important for business. It's, But I think that it would, if you really let that information sink in and, and try to be out of the box, the reality is we're always in the box at all times. Of course, we're in our own head, continually pinching yourself and maybe even like setting a reminder on your phone, be out of the box, be out of the box, be out of the box. So.